Hey, what's going on YouTube? My name is So Collider and welcome back to my Chaos Legendary campaign on the Mortal Empire campaign map. Right, let's check this out. The eye opens wider. Chaos Gods see their champion, but each has its own agenda. Right, to please fall the plague. Campaign movement range plus 10% or income from second settlement plus 10%. Go for that campaign movement range, kind of like that one. Right, we have a new quest, the armor of Morkor. I have one Chaos Knight unit in the following Lord's Army, Archeon the Ever Chosen. Right, it's gonna take some time because we don't even have a cavalry building at the moment. Uh, to get the Chaos Knights we need, let's see, we need this building. <laughs> that's, uh, no, and for this quest we even need the Chaos Knight Lancers, so we need... Oh, I almost need to sneeze. We need the Pillar of Skulls. And... <coughs> Oh, never mind. I do need it to sneeze. <laughs> um, this uh, building even generates some income, so that's nice, but it's gonna take a long time before we get that one. Now, I ended the turn already for you. Uh, before I did that, though, my agent went for the agent that was following me and got a crit critical success hit on him, so he's dead, finally. Uh, Ostland came after me. They have replenished, they have restored Gazit Port Karak. And uh, what a full flag. Quite damaged though at the moment. It's gonna take them some time to get the strength back. But behind them is another army coming. I could go around, turn back, attack them. But I wanna go down south, restore the tribe over there. So we'll leave Osland for now to do their thing. Let's uh, scout the rune runes. Then I can see what kind of uh, army they have over here. Right, so they have an army and a garrison as well. But it doesn't look too tough. This guy leveled up again. Let's see. Let's go for thick skinned again. But I wanna, I wanna free shot rock and I wanna race to the ground, burn the scaven out of there. We need to watch out though, because we are being followed at the moment. Before we do that though, I've got my second army up here. It's gonna stay here over a while. Come a little bit closer. So we're in range. It's gonna go on a little holiday over here. It's gonna chill out. Get its strength up. It's gonna take some time. I mean, it's not gonna fight, so it's not really gonna level up. Uh, and as you can see, it takes a long time for him, him to grow. I'm going to give him some units though, then maybe eventually he will be um, strong enough to do to do a little bit of raiding somewhere. Get his strength up, otherwise it's going to take so much time before he is uh, ready to fight. Right, let's attack Shot Raken. Shock to... Shock to Raken. Alright, uh, we've got a 50-50 chance of winning. Uh, it's a bit... They're stronger than I thought they were. They have poison wind globe there, so that's a bit of a problem, of course. But for the rest, we should be able to take them out. But it's gonna be a, gonna be a tougher fight than I thought. Let's jump in. Right, well, we've got enough winds of magic. Let's start deployment. We're in Skaven lands now, as you can see. It is dark, it is scary, but we are chaos. We are much scarier than they are. Send my horsemen all the way up here. Uh, make them come to me. And. Yeah, I'm gonna put my champions up here. Together with Archeon. He's gonna be up there as well. His personal elite infantry. Let's put the rest of the men behind there. Uh, Chaos spawn in reserve. These guys together. And hounds. Uh, you can go over there. Stay over there for now. Right. Let's uh, do some attacking with my horsemen. Oh boy. Got some missile attacks coming in. Spell over there. Uh, we need to watch out a little bit because they do have some missile units. And this, these guys are dying. They are my weakest horsemen, so... 
don't care as much uh, about them as I care about these three. But they have superior on missile units, so eventually they, uh, they're gonna take me down for sure. You guys are getting quite close to the enemy. I don't know what the enemy is doing right now, though. Let's just uh, march my men forward. Spawn some Skaven in my horsemen up there. That can be a bit of a problem. Don't know why my this battle's so laggy, though. I mean, it's not the biggest battle you can have. So don't know really, don't really know what's going on right now. Ah, that's better already. Right, let's uh, throw a fireball at the, at the enemy's leader. What's going on over here, guys? Ah, just hit one of my own horses, stupid motherfuckers. Right, the enemy is coming. I need my hounds to stop doing that. I need my hounds to attack their leader. Oh, what are you doing over there by yourself? What's wrong with you? Right, let's attack. You guys get out of there. Horsemen, get out of there. You don't want to be trapped for sure. Alright, let's go around my, with my hounds. Try and uh, take down all of these missile units they have over here. Where are my spying champions? Oh, they're over here. Okay, that's good. Let's buff them a little bit. How's the rest of my men doing? Yes, take down those clan rats. My uh, infantry should be able to take their infantry down. We are outnumbering them on the right flank. But the biggest problem is all of their missile units. Oh boy, it's gonna hurt. Yep, that did hurt for sure. And those Skaven spawning from the ground, really annoying. Let's go for the missile units now. They come out. Right, Arkin is uh, fighting Corporal, one of the leaders, so that's good. And we have pinned the enemy missile units. Right, they're all fleeing, that's good. Get your ass over here. Missile units incoming. Some of their uh, lines are failing. These guys are almost dead, that's, that's okay though. I don't really care about them. Let's get my Kale spawn over here. How are the hounds doing? Because uh, these guys are able to defeat the hounds, so that's a bit of a problem. And they keep spawning rats. They keep throwing spells my way. Get over here, Kale spawn. I mean, we're gonna win this for sure, don't worry, but... Finding Skaven is always really, really annoying. Go after them. Make sure they don't come back. I'm gonna lose those hounds as well, unfortunately. Can't do, do much about it now. Run away, you know. I've put you on top of skirmish mod for a reason. Skaven and R is always a pain in my ass. My champions are doing well though, they're... They're holding on. I mean, I've got the infantry spirit, but their missile units are really, really annoying. Let's hold them over here. Let's go in melee mode with my cavalry. I think it's better that way. Yeah, over here, I've, uh, my hounds have broken. Let's leave them alone for now. Go over here, get those poisoned wind globadiers. They're not as good as fighters as the rest. Some more hounds of mine has, have broken now as well. And two leaders up against Archeon, but they're not going to be able to take him down for sure. It's not going to happen, guys. Dream on. He is. Alright, they're doing good. Getting those wind globadiers there as well. Destroy my melee, my cavalry in there. Uh, go after them. 
Right, they're breaking on all fronts. Let's get the uh, Archeon out of here. I think it's over already. Yeah, it is. Nice. Nice! Alright, there we go. Victory. Beautiful. Stupid little Skaven. Freaking annoying. Alright, we've lost 308 men. Let's see. Ooh, some nice favor there for me. Ooh, almost leveled up. Good. We've lost uh, one unit though, which is unfortunate, and our hounds got heavily damaged. But we're still alive, kicking. Well, some more grow would be good, so let's just leave the money alone for now. Jolly good. Look, replenishment is doing great though. They're going up fast. Could use some more men, but that's gonna wait. I have to wait for now. Yeah, so the Skaven have been dealt with. Now we need to continue to frozen landing, deal with them there as well, and then continue to Burstling's camp. Send a turn, let's see uh, what the others are gonna do. Looks like uh, Osland uh, haven't uh, given up the chase, they're still uh, going after me. So I need to keep going. But they are losing men, uh, they are losing men due to attrition. So that's good. Every turn I can get uh, ahead of them, they lose men. Looks like uh, the other armies are uh, behind them as well, but they're still heavily damaged because they took us at board Greg. So uh, yeah, these armies are not as powerful as they seem to be anymore. They want peace and they offer me money. Yeah, um, I could accept it for now, but I don't want to actually. I'll I'll offer them peace later when I've uh, raised this city to the ground as well. I don't trust them anymore. I mean, even if we had peace right now, ah, damn it! Skaven assassinated my exalted hero and then offered me peace. Well, it doesn't work that way, mate. Ooh, it looks like uh, Aisling has got their strength back, and it looks like they're going for Krakak Drak, which is good. They're joining the war against Skaven. Yeah, so my exalted hero is down again. Fortunately. He is wounded, so he is coming back in four turns. Um, yeah, this army is slowly, slowly gonna go down. Slowly, though. And then there's this other army here. Uh, same for them. Right, we can't make it in one turn, so that so we'll go over here. Go on a common stance. Get another unit to our ranks. I think we'll go for great weapons. Chaos Warriors, great weapons. We haven't ha really had them yet. We don't have those. And... You know what? I'm gonna combine these two guys. And make another Chaos Warrants with poison. And then... 
Yeah, I think I think I make. Uh, what, how much are these guys? Hundred and thirty. Now I'm gonna go for these. For those. For the, these. Those. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna leave him. I think. You know what? Let's just give him. Um, one more of those, and a Marauder Horseman. <clears throat> And then that's it, it's just this personal bodyguard for now. Alright, you have scaling. He has some trolls, he has some uh, great weapons. So, uh, this army is not too bad. It looks like they're gonna take Kakak Drak. Alright, so far so good. Let's end the turn again. Yeah, you really, really need a lot of patience with the uh, Chaos Campaign. I mean, you're done with your turn in about a minute, and then you have to wait a lot, long time. And you can't, you can't just expand real, really, really fast. You can't make a lot of moves. You only got this one army, you know, and you'll have to deal with that. Uh, okay, it looks like, and you, and you, you know, you have to be really careful with that army, of course. Let's see, Osland. It looks like they are going for my. Uh, a second army, which is a bit of a problem, and Kislev have joined them as well with a full army. They are going for my for my army and for my allies, and uh, yeah, they're not going to be able to win that, especially because Aisling is all the way over here. A good thing happened though, Artwis uh, is now in war with Ostland, Middleland and Northland, which is good for me, just fight each other guys. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. I need to get my uh, allies out of my army out of there. I need to leave my allies. I can't. I don't have the men there to really make a difference anyway. Uh, hopefully, Aisling can take Kakak Drak. Uh, hopefully, they will occupy it. And then they have a nice city to work from. So, yeah. Uh, because uh, it looks like they're gonna lose. They're gonna lose Harold Koha. No, they're gonna lose Winterfire. Now I need to get my army out of here. Alright, let's see. I think I will uh, get him over here. And they will join him. Yeah, I'm sorry guys, but you know, I can't I can't defend Winterfire. They have a nice little garrison here, but uh, and together with my men, we, we do, but we don't even have a full army together with my men, so... What are those? Chaos War and Poisons. We will, uh, we're never gonna be able to win it from them. With Archeon, I keep moving. I'm gonna go for the Frozen Landing. He's up uh, full strength again, almost full strength. They uh, do have a little army in here with Tichet. A level 3 wizard, but it's not gonna be enough. Ooh, I did lose my uh, poisonous scales warhounds there. It's a bit of a shame. And over here we, uh, oh cool, we can actually awaken the Burslung tribe here as well. Not only in the south, so let's do that, they're a little bit safer here. Let's awaken uh, my uh, friends again. Back from the dead. We have, an, we have another ally. Again. Should say that. Get them already. Alright. Now, Archeon is already quite good in battle. We will level this up later, but for now he doesn't really need it. He can uh, probably defeat any general thrown his way. 
that's kind of good. Right, so this is uh yep, that's mostly for making my units, my chosen units and other units better. Don't really need these things. Yeah, and of course, yeah, I don't need them, but ooh. Guess you'll see replenishment rate plus thirty percent for Lord's Lord's army. Um, I don't know if this is for all of my lords, but it's still, even if it's only for Archeon, that is quite good. Need one more point for that. Uh, I, but I will do that later. Uh, I don't have a lot of... Um, yeah, I don't have a lot of Chaos Chosen units at the moment, so no, no point in getting that one. So I will think... Uh, we're gonna buff uh, the magic of uh, Archeon a little bit. The good thing is we can still walk. Uh, we could go over to Burstling's camp and... Yeah, I think I will go over there and raise it. And Kislev has a great army up here, so that probably means they don't have a lot down south, so they're weak over there. Which is good news for me. But we'll walk a little bit, uh, because we need to get a new unit to the ranks. And that will probably... Yeah, let's just build another poisonous warhound. Just lost him. Right, things are getting interesting for sure. Hopefully we can keep this guy alive. If they take Krakagdar, he's gonna stay over there. And otherwise I'm gonna send him over to the Frozen Landings, where he's the most safe at the moment. Because he can't really defend... I mean, I, I can just put this army full with these units. I can do that, of course. I'm gonna lose a lot of unit or armies, but, dude, but still, then they are not a really strong army, and it's gonna be really tough taking down armies like these. But we'll, we'll have to see. We have to. There's no point in making long-term plans in this game. I mean, things uh, things don't go the way you want. You have to improvise. Most of the time, that's, uh, you know, that's wh how I play battles and how I play the campaign. Just a uh, reaction to what the enemy is doing. I start with my own plan, but uh, as soon as I see that, as soon as I see a chance or I see what the enemy is doing, I try to get hit them at their weak spots, try to react how, uh, upon what, sh what are they are going to do. <laughs> Wow, that was a beautiful sentence. That's how I play it. I, I improvise a lot. Most I see is like 10 turns ahead, something like that. And then I, uh, and even those, those plans can change. Every turn plans can change. You need to adapt if you wanna win Total War. But that's my honest opinion. <coughs> Right, Oslin sent in their other army as well. And let's see, hopefully Kislev is not going to the right, because then my uh, army is trapped. They know I'm there though. Oh, they're going uh, down, right down. I don't know uh, where they're going. But at least uh, my uh, my second army is not trapped yet. Hopefully Aisling is gonna attack Krakatrak now. And they have a strong stronghold as well. But for now, Osland is only on their own. I mean, we could go back to Winterpyre and try to fight them. A lot of agents over here trying to stop Aisling. Uh, you know, I'm worried about the second army. Even if we can defeat the first army, which I highly doubt. Uh, Isling didn't take Kakaktrak now. Uh, yeah, hopefully they'll do it next turn. Even if we can attack that first army, the second army will come shortly after it. And then we'll get fucked anyway. I want to... I want to keep these guys alive uh, above all. Let's uh, go here. Let's get, get, just give him some more units. I, I, I mean, it's gonna cost me 
like a thousand every turn, but uh, he needs to be able to defend himself at least uh, a little bit, you know. And um, Baseling is now. How do you call it again? Bursonling? It's also making armies at the moment. Gislev is coming though. Hopefully they'll go for Shotraken. And uh, that will make them weak. I could go down south, continue f that one, but. If they're gonna come over to the frozen landing, I'm not gonna be. Uh, I, I will not be fast enough to my mates over there, I do really really want to take down another city of uh, Kislev, weaken them a bit. Uh, but Because look at this, they're getting quite strong. Wait, is Kislev at war with Osland? Because I thought lands over there were uh, from Osland. Oh no, they have a military alliance. But I really thought that these lands were from Osland. I think uh, they've been taken then, and then after that uh, Kislev took it. Weird. Yeah, Kislev is... Uh, yeah, they're the strongest. All the human armies up here north, and their uh, factions, I mean, they're quite close to me. So I need to find their weak spots and attack them over there. Alright, these guys are recruiting like hell, so let's just go down south, take one of the cities. And then head back really quickly and stop this army. Uh, yeah, we'll have to wait a bit for my agent returns and he can do some damage again. Skaven is also uh, coming down and they're not at war with any of the humans, I think. No, they're only at war with me and my allies. This is a bit of a problem. So we've got four enemy armies coming up. Uh, whoa. Gonna be tough getting out of this one. I mean, uh, these guys are being really, really aggressive. Apparently, don't. Yeah, at the moment, they don't really have other enemies to fight, so they're just gunning for me. And it looks like Nordland took a province all the way up north here from Vark. Uh, and yeah, this is scaling. Took they took a province. Way up north there. Didn't really take the the, the havens here. It's weird. The coastal provinces just ignored it. But that means they're close to Aisling as well. <laughs> yeah, we're getting trapped a little bit. Seems like I need to be more aggressive. Fight those armies head on. But I, I can only take one at a time. If I fight two, maybe, maybe I can win if I fight two. But... The risk is not worth it. So I'm hoping Kislev has now most of the armies uh, somewhere up here. Or down south, but I don't really know who else they're fighting. I was hoping they were gonna get into a war with the Red Eye, so they needed to send their armies up into the mountains, but it didn't really happen yet. Well, they went for Winter Pyre. Looks like they... Vessels ceased. They have declared independence. Yeah, that's probably because they don't have a city anymore. <laughs> Sold unit success. They have taken shot Shock Draken. This is bad news all around, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I, I could have... Uh, attack this army the next turn if my army was still close because now they are really weak but I doubt they uh, would have taken shot rocket if my army was uh, close they're not that stupid hopefully Aisling can take crack they're not my allies anymore at the moment oh my god they have lost that battle how stupid are they? And Fark is coming with armies again. So we have... Uh, <laughs> we have awakened a tribe just to lose another one. That's uh, kind of unfortunate. And now my, ally, my, my second army here is a bit in enemy territory. I want to see who Fark is fighting at the moment. 
Really, really. Also, only me. That is just great, For man. Chaos. Scaling is fighting Bretonnia and me. And Fark is getting strong. Strong already. Damn. I have to say, guys, it's not looking great for us. Normally, Fark will will declare war on everybody down south, uh, but now they they are only going after me. Just as Osland, they're only at war with. Oh no, they're, only, they're also at war with Artwas, but I don't know where the fuck they are. Ostmark only at war with me. Middleland, but they're all the way up there. They're also fighting skill takers, Artwas, and me. Yeah. Even Red Eye, man. Fuck those guys. And Kislev is all also only only fighting me. That so far in this campaign is the biggest problem that all of these factions up north here have decided that they are gonna ignore each other and just they're all gunning for me and my allies. Mm, that's uh, cool. I didn't really expect that. Don't know how why that uh, is happening. Right. First of all, let's see if. Uh, Skaven still want peace. They are really, really weak at the moment, so... Yeah, they want it. Let's get a non-aggression pact as well. And then let's see if they... Uh, they wanna... Oh, demand payment. They wanna pay me some... Oh, oh, okay. Hi. How much can we get from them? Demand payment. 1200 then? Low. Right, you know what? Forget about the payment, never mind. He's good enough for me, non aggression pact as well. Then at least Skaven will leave me alone. Agreed. Look at all the faction I'm at war with. Damn. Damn. Um. Right, what we can do now is run all the way back, get these guys before they get the strength up, or we destroy Burstling's camp. Yeah, you know what? I think I'll, uh, I'll leave Burstling's camp. Sorry guys, I think I'll leave this person scam to those guys. I'll just uh, head up here real quick because these guys are now half their strength. Oh, they're replenishing really, really quickly though. But still, if I attack them next turn, then they're still... Oh, this is just cheating, man. Look at this. Some of their units are full. They're replenishing like bizarre quickly. Uh, if I do this, I lose half my units. But I don't know. You see, it's just cheating, motherfucker. I guess. All right, let's tell Burnsling that they need to go for that camp. Then they've got two nice. Then they've got a nice province over here, a full province, and hopefully they get strong a little bit. But damn it. There's a full army from Kislev, Kislev really close at the moment. Yeah, I think I need to be more aggressive. Just uh, win or lose it all. Go after the full armies. Take them head on. Go into the lands. Be really freaking aggressive there. Right, we are safe here for now. Let's just keep them there. Need some more units again. It's taking a really long time to get this army up. And uh, still, they're quite weak. Damn it, guys! So it is such a tricky campaign. This is that's for sure. Here you can see the Empire has confederated Wizzeland getting the strength up. But closely, very closely, now I'm getting trapped over here in the fro uh, in the region, in the starting region. They're trapping me, armies are going getting everywhere. Luckily most some of them are not allies. 
So I can fight them one by one, but and Archeon's army is is quite strong. I mean they're they're quite strong. So they do stand a chance, maybe even against two enemy armies. But it's getting really tough getting out of this uh, tricky situation. We need to, uh, we need to push back the enemies over here so we can have a little breeding space, which we don't really have right now. So our allies can. It's really important that, uh, that the tribes we awaken stay alive and that they have the chance to get strong as well. Oh, they are leaving. They have left Shotraken. It looks like they're gonna go for the frozen landing. They're gonna attack that. So their weaker army, <laughs> it's really annoying. I have to avoid their stronger armies and their weaker armies are doing the same with me, trying to avoid me, trying to stay out of the battle. So uh, Archeon is just left to run around. All right, this is quite good news for us. For us. This uh, will give us probably a little bit of a breeding space. Oh, look at that. Uh, Bursling went out, attacked them on sea and got their ass kicked. I know why they did that, they should have just stayed at the frozen landing. But they went out and they're dead. The armies have been defeated on sea. Alright, we've got our hero back. Eto etiquette. Okay, cool. Uh, he needs to go out and deal with enemy heroes. Can you reach him? Yes, you can. Assassinate the bitch. Nice. Beautiful. Alright, thick skinned. Eventually, uh, I need him to be strong for armies as well. Alright, these guys are quite damaged, but if they go for the frozen landing, they're gonna take it. Could go over here, but chances are big that they're just gonna go back. So I'll have to let them take frozen landing, and then after that, circle back and just. Awaken the tribe again. I think I can do that as many times as I want. But yeah, they're not gonna get a lot stronger from that. <clears throat> now Vark is chasing my ass over here and I can't get them too close to Archeon, so that's a bit of a problem as well. But if these guys come out of the sea and attack me, then I'm pretty fucked as well. Can we maybe Oh, we just can't attack it. That's unfortunate. Now, for now, he has to. He's gonna have to uh, be close to Archeon, unfortunately. Uh, you, yeah, you know what? Because uh, armies are all around, and I won't be surprised if I'm gonna lose this army. It's just getting trapped now a lot. Oh, you know what? Let's put him on forced march. We're gonna send him over here. Now we've got some attrition as you can see, but Archeon is pushing through. Gonna go for short Raken and raise that. Oh, there was actually no army there. Would have been better if I left it to this guy then, but I didn't. Uh, but he couldn't, just couldn't make it. They're still having attrition though, that's unfortunate. I thought range would be big enough right now. It's not. Uh, yeah, if uh, these guys have, would have raised it, then the growth would have uh, got a little bit, a uh, little bit quicker there. That's unfortunate, but never mind. And I thought uh, attrition that they would only fight each other when they were in each other's range, but now they're still, still too close. It's not really a proximity meter somewhere to tell me. <coughs> How far they have to get away from each other, that's a bit annoying.
So yeah, guys, this uh, situation is getting more tricky by the minute. We really, really need to uh, change up our strategy here. Gotta have to risk it all. Luckily now, Skaven are at war with the human factions up north here, so that's gonna put them off a little bit. That will give me some space, so that's good. Maybe now that we're both fighting them, uh, well, I don't know where that Kislev army just went, but maybe they're going back down south. I don't know. Hopefully eventually we can get some allegiance from the Skaven now that we're fighting the same enemy. The scaling ones, they want peace. Yeah, I could I could use that at the moment. I will give you some money for sure. Still have enough. Right, Skaven doesn't give a fuck. A fuck, I mean. They came in and have attacked Archeon. Uh, we can flee, but we can also take them head on. I mean, yeah, have a lot of trolls. There are some human armies in the neighborhood as well, so losing a lot of units could potentially mean my doom. But the rest of his army are. The rest of these armies are. Uh, I mean, a lot of Chaos Marauders there. My infantry can easily beat the shit out of them. The Chaos Trolls uh, are tend to flee. As you can see, poor leadership. They run away really, really quickly. Even these guys have higher leadership. And if my uh, Marauder Horse Mask can do some damage against them. And Arkin, I will just send him as quickly as he can to Karl Torgerson and deal with him. Arkin is a lot, of, a lot stronger. Yeah, this is going to be an important battle, but we're going to have to fight it. Like I said, at some point uh, it's not enough to... Just keep running away. Sometimes you have to face them. And if I do now and if I win it, then the Vark problem has been taken care of at least for a while. So let's jump in there. Um, now I'm not going to gamble. I'm not going to risk it. The reinforcing army is coming from here. So we're going to be uh, in the corner a little bit. I don't want my right flank to flank to be this weak. I'm gonna put these units in the center, and these guys will go on the right. That means my center is a little bit weaker, but that's okay because the scale spawn are gonna reinforce them over there. Get you together. And you guys, uh, I want you guys as reserve this time. Arkin will stay over here. And you're gonna make sure that this first army is gonna run towards me. So I can deal with them first before the second army comes. I think that's uh, the best tactic we have. Arkin will join them as well. Lure them my way so we can fuck them up. Alright, of course, they're all the way over there. Run towards them, Arkin as well. Yeah, they're they're gonna they're gonna meet up with their allies, but I don't want to give them any time to uh, reinforce properly. So I'm just gonna run over there, being annoyance re uh, er early on. <coughs> Look at all those trolls, man. We are fucked. We're gonna have a problem. Yeah, just start throwing your freaking spears. <coughs> now that Archeon has a horse, he's a little bit faster, but I feel like he's uh, slower than my horseman, though. 
Alright, they're coming on my way, so now would be a good time, yeah, to turn around and run away. They are coming, all of their men are already here though, so that's a bit of a shame. Throw on a fireball at the trolls over here. I don't think we uh, put it on the trolls, but... I mean, uh, he will hit one anyway, I think. Yeah, he did. Let's get him out of here. Alright, these trolls are getting damaged though, that's good. Uh, guys, you need to be quicker. You need, yeah, faster, that's what I mean. You get it? Be faster. Alright, we are taking down at least one unit of trolls, slowly but steady. We've got some Marauder Horsemen on our back. Doing some damage on my axe throwers there. Alright, we could throw another fireball. Uh, ooh, these guys are fast though. Throw a fireball at the trolls over here. Ooh, they are getting our kiln. Need set back. What do we have over here? Some hounds and some marauder horsemen coming on my left flank. Or my horsemen are as well. Uh, let's try and take down those trolls. Keep firing at them, you should be able to win. I mean, uh, you're stronger, but for some reason you're losing at the moment. Right, so their fast units are gonna get here early on. And we can deal with them early on before the infantry arrives, so that's good. Right, I think you can turn around now and fight them. Together with your uh, champions. Right, now two of their troll units have been dealt with a little bit. But for some reason my throwing axes are losing that fight against our marauder horsemen. That's really stupid. Alright, let's throw my Chaos Warhounds and if these chosen reinforce them then they should be able to win that fight. Let's get those guys. Go around over here. I want to catch those marauder horsemen as well. Ah, uh, get him. Get him boys. Right, all of the trolls are coming towards Archeon and my champions. Uh, that's good for me. But it looks like... My Warhounds are fleeing a lot quicker than I expected. It's almost time to turn the rest of my infantry, but not yet. Yeah, my Warhounds are losing against theirs. Let's get my Chosen back. Uh, how do you call them man? again? Yeah, chosen. <laughs> because they need to help out over there. Alright, let's just throw you in then go fight because you're clearly you clearly are shit at what you're doing right now. Alright, we did some damage against the trolls, so that's good. Went better than I expected. Now the trolls are early on in the fight and we can uh, just get the kale spawn in there as well. Right. Warhounds have been dealt with. These guys are going down as well. They're gonna lead a battle soon. These guys are out of ammunition. Get you over here for now. Get you guys back. Uh, yeah, you hold the line, mate. Alright, I need to get Archeon out of here. He needs to deal with their leader. Get you back. Most of the trolls have been uh, dealt with already, so that's good news for me. Let's go forward. Forward march. Get you over there. Oh, some trolls have gotten through my lines there. Archeon, go over there. I, luckily I can really really depend on my infantry to hold the line. I mean not these marauders of course, but uh, My chaos warriors they can really really hold their own So that's good uh, Yeah, this is not what I want you need to get out of there This infantry unit is still following my uh, cavalry. It's good for me 
And Archeon is now fighting their leader. It's both of my champions again. I've got some enemy calf behind my lines. Throwing in spears. Really, really smart. Let's go and deal with them. Alright, go over here. Go deal with them. Go deal with them. Should be able to cut them off quite quickly. Alright, the infantry is fleeing over here. My chaos spawn are doing what they uh, are born to do. And Archeon is slowly taking down their leader. Which is good as well. Uh, getting a troll attack from the back there. And my calf is back. It's gonna charge the enemy. Look at my uh, chosen. And my chaos with great weapons slicing up those marauders. That's good. They don't stand a chance against them. Right, we have caught their horsemen. These trolls are doing some damage though. My champions are holding the line, but uh, they're having a tough time doing so. And their leader is uh, surrounded by trolls, so I'm having a hard time taking him down. And these Chaos Warriors are slowly, slowly losing the fight. Luckily, I have some Marauders free. My Holberts, let's get them up here. Get these guys up there. Alright, they're raving. They're gonna die soon. Yeah, I keep chasing those trolls. That's good. It's fine. Uh, you do the same with those trolls. Need them to stay away. Stay away from me. Yeah, you need to help out over here because these guys are having a tough time. It's slowly but steady. They are taking down Archeon. Let's buff him up. I mean, he's fighting two leaders and trolls and infantry, so... Uh, what do what you expect? He's not immortal. He can die. So we need to help him out a little bit. He needs to defeat the enemy. The enemy lord. These guys are so strong, man, my chosen. I haven't lost a single unit and really, really do a lot of damage. Slicing up those marauders quite nicely. Go back over here. Help them out. Help Archeon. Need to keep him alive. Alright, this is not good. These trolls have come back. Fighting warhounds and cavalry. Not the best thing for me. Because that is what trolls excel at. I'm much better against the... Uh, lighter units like that than against uh, my infantry right but it seems that we have broken him we are still alive we have won the battle well but that was a tough one i'm gonna chase them down though i mean everyone i can kill right now is good for me go after some trolls and i want archeon yeah go after the leader it's a level eight leader so if we can kill him that will be a huge win for us and the Warhounds go after their uh, infantry, together with my cavalry. Uh, or let, you know what, let's get the trolls over there. Look at these guys, I haven't lost a single unit and killed 155 men. They're amazing. Uh, spying champions, keep uh, going at it. Right, their level 8 lord is dead. Go after their other lord. Yeah, keep chasing that infantry. Where are my other horsemen? All the way over here. Slicing and dicing up some trolls. Right, this is good. We did uh, lose a lot of men here. And we're not gonna, unfortunately, not gonna get some replenishment. Because we're still too close to my, uh, my other army. But we are alive for now. that up a little bit i want this guy to die Trolls here are dead that's good yeah they're not gonna be able to make it to another unit these trolls are also slowly dying uh the other ones are gonna escape though all right just three more trolls left 
there. A little bit divided. Oh, there we go. One more left. Kill him already. Uh, okay. Yeah, the other lord is dead. Let's finish up those units over there. Can my warhounds do something? Uh, Alright, they could go over there. Sorry, guys. Just want to kill these off. Put it on fast forward. Oh, no. One needs to go over there. And then I think I uh, killed off most of the enemy army. Yeah, they're not gonna recover from that one quite easy. Alright, we have lost one unit, unfortunately. Got a lot of money though, as you can see over here. Very nice. Banner of Swiftness. And Archon is level 15 already. Let's look at the enemy army. They have lost a lot of trolls. Some of the infantry is still standing, but they're not close to uh, occupied. Uh, they're not close to their own provinces at the moment, so they're not going to be able to replenish. Uh, I do need some replenishment though, so let's go for that. Enemy killed Carl Torgensen. As you can see, I'm getting some attrition some from this army. Kislev is over here. They're going for it. Get this army close to them. Uh, are they not close enough, though, to reinforce them? That's fine. At least they can stay alive that way. And I'm really, really going to need uh, to give them some more units. Just, uh, buff them up. Get a full army with this one, because otherwise they're never gonna make it. I refuse. Kislev is coming with two armies though. Didn't see that. Uh, they're coming to finish me off, and it's going to be hard. Get out of there. All right, kind flame, map wide casting. Plus twenty two percent weakness to fire damage. That's great, but I first need a great spell to. Great fire damage spell. I think we'll uh, go for the burning hat. That's always good. It's really, really annoying that Archeon can't be cl too close to uh, my main army. Yeah, Kislev is over there coming in for the kill. Got my agent over here. I want him to get up here and see what Osland is doing. Got one army over there. Got one full army over here. So we're getting trapped. We are trapped. Uh, both sides at the moment. Uh, what are we gonna do? What are we going to do? Things are getting tied around here. And I'm gonna have to end this episode. So sorry to keep you waiting. But you're gonna have to see what happens in the next one. Hope you enjoyed this one. Leave a like if you did. If you want to see more of my content. And uh. Support my channel, hit that subscribe button, make my day, and I will see you guys very soon.